Hi, I'm Martine Singer, President and CEO of Para Los Niños in Los Angeles. California ranks, I believe it's 49th uh, in per pupil spending uh, compared to the other states. We have very, very poor funding for education in California. So in our charter schools, we rely on money that we raise from individuals and foundations to close the gap. It's really important for the kids we serve, the children living in poverty, to graduate from high school because they have to go on to earn a decent living in order to get out of the circumstances that they grew up in. So they need to go to college or have a career. We really hope that our children end up at four-year colleges. But the biggest predictor of whether they'll graduate from high school is whether they can read in third grade. And it's a very sobering thought. There are a lot of barriers to learning for low-income children all around the country. As a result, 85% of them can't read fluently by the end of third grade. And that's just an astonishing uh, statistic because it means that they're much more likely to drop out of school and end up in low-paying jobs or homeless, uh, having children too young, and of course incarcerated. So the odds against our kids are very high just because they're growing up poor. We have a huge, huge, huge task on our hands just to get them ready to learn. And we are succeeding at that, which is against all odds. What's really different about what we do is the holistic approach that we take. We have this long history in providing social services and mental health services, so we come to education from that background rather than from a purely educational perspective. So at our schools, we really believe not just in having access to those services, but in providing them ourselves. When a child needs mental health services, they go see George, not a guy who's three bus rides away, but a guy who's part of the school community, who's doing workshops with the parents, who's watching them play basketball, somebody who they're familiar with, who they trust, and is part of the community. The other thing that we work very hard on is parent engagement. Uh, most of the families that we work with are immigrants. Many of the parents don't speak English. They may not even be literate. And we're really there to make sure that they can participate in their children's education, that they can help them achieve great things educationally. And in order to do that, we really have to get them comfortable with being at school, feeling welcome at school, and showing them how they can participate in their children's education. I want to thank you for investing in our kids, because with your help, they will become great Americans. A dollar that you invest today saves seven dollars down the road because these children will be productive citizens. They will have jobs, they will pay taxes, they will contribute to society. The seven dollars represents the cost of incarceration, of caring for homeless people, of emergency room visits, and all the ills that we avoid by giving kids a great education and a great start.